that was me too. It took me, ooh wee, some, some years of therapy. <laughs> I remember when I had to drop the kids off when I first moved to Atlanta and I had to let them stay for a holiday, a whole holiday. Like, so you mean I don't get to spend this holiday with my kids? I got to share them with him? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And, you know, I've been going to therapy for a while, so I had to work that out through that. And, you know, after a while, it became easier. Um, and I just made sure that I stayed busy while they were gone. I took on extra nanny jobs. I worked late overnight. I did all the work and stuff and tried to make sure that I got my money and while they were gone. And that kept me busy. I made sure to journal a lot. Um, I didn't let my mind get the best of me of thinking who he got around my kids. I bet it's a girl over there. I, whatever flavor of the week he wanted to be with, I was just like, Psh, the kids, are, you know, if it's an uncomfortable situation, my kids know how to handle it. And they going to call me because mama has drove to Memphis in the middle of the night before. So they know I, I don't care. Um, but I had to um, stop putting my fear on them and stop putting the fear that I had on situations that hadn't happened, overthinking, making problems that weren't there, saying stuff or thinking of the, all of the negative things and nothing happened. Nothing. I, I allowed my fear to be louder than God, and that was my first mistake. So after I got that under control and I started really putting my faith into God and really praying protection over them, I ain't had no more problems. They could go anywhere. Now, as adults, and they're older and they live by themselves, I still have to go through that and pray and put protection over them and, and make sure that I am giving them advice from a love place and not a hurt place and make sure that the things that are going on in the world, I don't take it and put it over them. Oh my God, this can happen. I had to stop all of that. And the overthinking and the what ifs, I had to stop. I had to literally sit down and say, Queen, what if everything is okay and everything works out? It's okay to be happy. It's okay that even though their relationship don't work, the kids good over there. They good. They know you. You got family there in Memphis. If anything happened, it took a lot. Prayer, journaling, therapy, all of it. But after a while, I was like, do you, boo? What day we mean? Because I got to get back. Yeah, I got to get back. I had my girls. Hey, I dropped the kids up 8 o'clock in the morning. If y'all want to, y'all can ride. And then by the time we get back, we get that day. Baby, after a while, it was like, 